Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I did not realize how big my forehead is. <laughs> Those who do not know me and are new to the channel, my name is Marcella. I am a professional makeup artist. I'm here to teach you guys how to transform yourselves, teach you techniques, etc., etc. So, if that sounds interesting to you or up your alley, then please consider subscribing. And follow me on Instagram if you want to know a bit more about me because I do talk more on my Instagram and you can get to know me a lot more there. I think we're gonna learn a lot in this one because this episode, episode- Are you crazy? We are learning all about brow blocking, okay? That's very important because you're just gonna get the base to your face. So yeah, let's get to brow blocking. So first, I would always, I already did it, but I would always pluck the stray hairs around. This brow is awful, like it's awful. This one has a decent enough shape, then this one is just, you need work, okay? Let's get into it. So first, like I said, pluck away those strays. <coughs> Second, alcohol. Alcohol spray, or I also use um, surgical spirits. Is that what it's called? You can get them in like pharmacies. But alcohol is usually better because it's a stronger, um, it has stronger alcohol, I don't know. It dries out your skin more. Not good for your skin. Well, it's not. It dries out your skin. So, onto tissue. And we're just gonna wipe away back and forth onto the brow. This is just gonna take all the oils out of your eyebrow. If you don't do this step, your hair will just come through because the oils will melt away the glue. Also, redness. That's normal too. Oh, God. Very red. What the fuck's wrong with you? Look at that fucking state you, you big clutchy little thing. Okay, they are alcohol out. They're drunk! They're all drunk now. I use the Elmer's. Ugh, oh, everyone uses this. They're kind of hard to get. I get them online. Tesco used to do this really good glue stick and it was massive and it was like a purple glue stick. And it was amazing, but I haven't seen them do it anymore. So there's the glue stick. You can just do that. But if you have really bushy brows like mine, I like to use Prosade as well. This is very strong, very hard to get off as well. I would always have like clumps in my brow after. So only use this if like you really can't cover your brows. Then if you don't want to use the Prosade, if you're starting with the glue, let's gonna pretend I started with the glue here. Always go backwards against the hair and then bring it back. I always got a spoolie as well, just so you can bring it back because you want to get it right into the root. So you're gonna bring it back and then you're gonna fold back into place and then it should just flatten down that way. With the glue, layer upon layer upon layer, if you find that it's still coming through, let it dry. Letting it dry is the main thing. Take your time doing blocking your brows because it's gonna make or break your makeup. You want it to be perfectly smooth. You don't have any texture. So the, t the tip, tip of the day is let it dry and add another layer. No texture, we don't like texture. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with Prosate because I have really coarse pubes on my face. See that you need a bikini wax from here. Stop! Also, this channel is environmentally friendly. We don't do plastic spoolies anymore, we do wooden. So I just dip it into the Prosate. Oh God, guys, I need a mirror. I'm very close as well, am I? No. So I'm gonna go backwards against the grain, like so, I'm gonna spraying everywhere. You always wanna clean up around as well because when it dries, it kind of creates a texture. So now I'm just pushing it back into place. I then get my little finger and just press it down. Just press it down. Sure. So to see if it's perfect if, and you're happy with it, get your mirror, turn your head to the side so you can see if there's any texture. Now I'm gonna do it on the other side. Okay. Well, guys, I would start off with glue stick first because it's so much easier. I would really, really only use Prosade if you have extremely thick brows. 
I could kind of just block this and start my makeup look now, but I just want it to be perfect. So now I go on my glue stick. Then you just go with the grain, you're kind of just pressing it down, just adding an extra layer. This will kind of just smooth it out a bit because the Pro's Aid will have a little bit of a texture on it, whereas this is gonna be like your smoother. I'll just clean around the edges slightly. Same the other side. Oh. Now, most important thing, let this dry. If you have a fan, fan yourself to death. Get sick me! Yeah. 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 To death, until it dries. It will just dry clear or else almost like um, iridescent. No, glassy. Like Okay, we're dry. Time for layer two. I'll probably only need two layers now because it does look smooth enough. And the powder I like to use, I like to use banana powder because it's very thick. I just use a Penny's Primark one, it's a four euro. Does the job, or you can use baby powder. In with the powder puff, into the powder, and you want to press as hard as you can, okay? Into that brow. Now it's time to colour correct. God, what's the colour? I don't want to say orange, like a peachy undertone. Depends on how dark your brow is. Like I would have a bit of a dark shadow, so I need to go slightly more orange. I use this Mud Colour Correcting Palette. I use any of these. Obviously I don't use that. That'll be for like dark, dark skin. Whereas I would go maybe this one here, and then I just press into the brow. Okay, I'm gonna change finger, because that's gonna give me arthritis. You can see the difference, I could always stand far away. My hair! Next brow. Now, we need to powder over this, just to set it in place so nothing really moves. Same again, I got that banana powder and my puff. Guys, there you go, and then you can just put your foundation on top of it, and then you are sorted. I'm just doing it on a flat brush, this is from Real Techniques. Just gonna bounce that on the brow there then. Now you have your completely blank canvas on your forehead and you can start with whatever you want. You can make your eyes massive now, you can bring your brows so much higher, you just have so much more space and oh my god, I did not realise how big my forehead is. I forgot to record an outro of the last that's why I look different. It's a different day, it's a different month. I hope you learned how to perfectly block out your brows. Like I said, mine are more on the thicker side, so I need that extra coverage with the glue. So, guys, if you have thin brows, you won't need to do as much coverage. You won't need to use Pro's Edge, you'll just need to use a glue stick. You can use Pritt Stick. Is it great? It's okay. Make sure it's quite warm, because it can get quite hard and stiff. So make sure you like, Breathe on it or put it over like a heater or a hair dryer just so it gets a little bit more tacky and it'll be easier to blend. That's the only thing about Fritz stick is that it's just a bit hard so make sure to warm it up. Please give this video a thumbs up and um, like, subscribe, comment what you guys would like to see me do. It was like I find it really hard to up with ideas so if you guys could tell me ideas either on Instagram or in the comments. So I'm gonna try to keep doing these every second week. But on that note, Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and bye.